Hello, welcome to Magic or Tragic. My name's Brandon, and this is my ED. <laughs> Okay, so I do apologise, uh, I have not been, well, I haven't made a video in a couple of weeks. Uh, that is due to obviously me having my daughter and working stupid hours. So I haven't had chance to make a video, but today uh, it is EDC, and if you don't know what that is, that means everyday carry. So what do I carry every single day? as in magic related. Um, so I have actually been on the internet and browsed at other people to see what they take with them every single day. I'm not saying that they're lying, I'm not saying nothing like that, but I just think, would I, that wouldn't be me if that makes sense. As in like, would I carry a Sharpie with me every single day? No, I wouldn't. But uh, this video is to show you guys at home what I carry with me every single day. And the number one, uh, people usually ask me this, do I carry a pack of playing cards with me every single day? The answer to that is no. I do not carry a pack of cards every single day. I just don't. Like if I'm gonna go to work, am I gonna take a pack of cards with me? No, not at all. If I'm gonna go to the shops, am I gonna take them with me? No. I do not carry a deck of cards with me every single day. Yes, if it's uh, going out to friends and family's houses, maybe I am going to do a bit of magic, then I'm, I might take a pack of playing cards. What I do take is this. I call it the wallet to go. <laughs> I know, a bit of a weird name, but wallet to go and my iPhone. These are the two props I have with me every single day. No matter where I go, and you might be the exact same at home. You might just go to work or, or I don't know, go to the shops. You're going to take your wallet and you're going to take your phone or your keys. That is what you take. So I sat down and thought about it. I thought, right, I want to make, like, I, wa I want to have a wallet where I can go out and have material straight away. And that's what I've got. I have about 30 or 40 minutes of magic inside this wallet. It's not a big wallet, no, not at all. But it's got everything I need. So what I'm going to do is explain everything I have in my wallet. And then obviously, if you want to see a trick, or I might do a trick out of this wallet so you guys can see what I've got as well, we can do that. So let me show you what's in the wallet. What's in this wallet? Well, you're about to find out. But before I show you what's in this wallet, I'm going to ask you a question. So have you ever been uh, in a situation where you haven't got anything on you whatsoever? And someone says, oh, go on, show us a trick or show our girlfriend a trick, show my wife a trick. And you've got nothing on you, okay? Let's say you're not confident with coin magic or let's say, you know, a few ring tricks and that's it. Well, that's happened to me, okay? I, I don't know if it's happened to you guys at home, but it's definitely happened to me. And I'm like, oh, I haven't got anything. So this is why I came up with a wallet like this. So if someone says to me, show me a trick, boom, I've got it. I know what I'm doing. So the first trick I usually do, if someone says to me, oh, can you show me a trick? It's called, it is called Corrosal Clearer. And it is any thought of card in the wallet. So you ask your spectator to think of any playing card. Just for example, let's say they name the Four of Hearts. And if you've named any card, you go to your wallet and you take out the four of hearts. Boom, instant, straight away. You've just blown their mind, okay? The other trick I've got in this wallet, it is called Bucket List by Vinny Sagu. And this is a really, really strong trick. I'll show it you. I have the uh, Bucket List right in the front compartment. It does come in like a little case, but I added it into the wallet. In this, okay, this is quite, well, not quite, it is a very strong trick. I have performed this to quite a few people already. And it's like a bit of a comedy trick as well, if that makes sense. I don't want to give too much away. Uh, well, I'm not, not giving too much away, but 
I don't want to go on too much about this effect, but uh, it is uh, photos that are cut up and they all get mixed up. And then obviously you've got a prediction where it says four will be face down. And then you turn that over and there's a picture what matches the picture what were four face down cards. I know I went through that really fast, but it's a really, really good trick. And you do get a fantastic uh, reaction out of this. You get laughters, you get gaffs, you get everything. It's perfect. If I didn't think it were good, it wouldn't be in my wallet. Okay. The next trick I've got in here is called snare, okay? This blew my mind. This is from Paul Richards, I think it is. Bear with me, my have a look. Yeah, Paul Richards, it's called snare. It's a collector's effect. So if you don't know what a collector's is, you get four kings, three uh, cards are selected. They get shoved into the pack and then the kings trap each single card. If that makes sense, collectors. If you're a magician, you know what I mean. But with this, uh, with this one, oh my god, it was so fair. There's no funny business, and it just blew my mind. So I've got snare in here. Let me get that out for you. Boom, snare. Okay. So I've got snare in there as well. Another one I've got in here. Uh, you all might know this one. It's called Wow. You might be thinking, why have you got WOW in your wallet? You would be surprised how strong WOW is. I haven't used, well, sorry, I didn't use WOW for such a long time till I started, well, I used it, well, not that long ago, but it was a while ago. But I got a fantastic reaction. It's so visual. And quite a few magicians say, what are you going to say when you bring out a, uh, a, a plastic sort of sheet? Be imaginative. You can do what you want. Uh, say what you want, as soon as you bring this in, you are going to fry people. It's amazing. It honestly is. It's fantastic. So, the next effect, okay, this one is, uh, it fooled me. Uh, well, everything does fool me. I don't know why. Everything does fool me. But it is impossible. It was from on Vanishing website. I forgot the creator's name, but I will put it on. Basically, with this, you get uh, five cards each. I think there's five cards in here. Yep, there's five cards each. All different colours. I'll show you the cards quickly. So you all get the same. And they mix them up. They place them down. They put one down first, and then you know how it goes. And all the cards match. If you haven't seen Impossible, <coughs> I will put the link down in the description below so you can see that. Okay? So I've got Impossible in there as well. Uh, my favourite trick out of them all is called Picasso. If you do not know what Picasso is, you have to buy this. This is ridiculous, okay? So Picasso, I've got in an envelope right here. Let me get that out for you. So Picasso, I'm not going to show you my drawing because I'm not very good. But what you need for this is a prediction and a film. And uh, what the actual trick is, is they actually go onto a link, you tell them to type in, and they draw a picture of a stick man or a, a man, and you tell them to colour in the shirt, the tie, the hair, and what other colours they want, and it's data your prediction out, and it matches their drawing. Picasso. Fantastic effect. Another trick I have in here as well is a lottery ticket prediction called uh, Cypher. Uh, I think you all know what that is. If you don't, you date their phone. Go into their calculators, and or your calculator, sorry, and you tap in random numbers, and then your their numbers, when you add them all up, ends up the same predicted on your lottery ticket. And then you know what birth sign they are, you know date of birth, you know the code to the phone, to the bank. So it's a very strong trick. I've got that in there as well. Another one is... I call it the council uh, trick, the council card trick. You probably want to know why. Uh, I saw a young lad on the council estates who performed this trick and actually fooled me. He showed it me and I use it ever since. And it does fool people, this. Not more uh, magicians, but for lay people, it's going to blow the heads. Okay. And that is it. Um... That is everything I've got in the wallet so far. Oh, yeah, just to let you know as well, I have coins, like dollars, uh, half dollars, shall I say, in here. So I have got qu quite a few uh, props here. 
but no deck of cards. I've got the film for Picasso. I've got Impossible. I've got Snare. I've got Bucket List. I've got the Wow. I've got the Lottery Ticket Prediction. I've got the Council Trick. I've even got Half Dollars. So you can see there is loads of material right here. Okay. And well, like I said, you do carry your business cards. So you obviously give them out when you need to. And that is it. That is what I carry with me every single day. I know obviously you might not agree with what I carry or what I have. But just to finish this video off, I will perform Snare so you can see how good this looks. This is going to be the performance of Snare. This is one of the effects I carry on me. So I hope you guys enjoy it. So like you see, we have four red cards. These are like jokers, like weird jokers. And we have a normal deck of playing cards, what you can be borrowed as well, which is very, very good. So what happens is we take the jokers. So we've got one, two, three, four jokers. Okay, like you say, that's one, two, three, four jokers. And we'll leave them on the table for now. And we need three card selectors. So just really quickly, we'll just take random three cards just to make this a lot easier. So we have the nine of hearts, the jack of clubs, and the ace of diamonds. So what's going to happen is I'm going to take the jack of clubs and leave it halfway down the center of the pack. So that is the first card gone. The second card is we'll take the nine of hearts and we'll leave it halfway down. And the last one, like can sit, oh, I'm showing that to the camera, the ace of hearts, that one goes down as well. So that's three cards lost into the center. So we know it's not on the top or the bottom. But these are where the jokers come in. So these jokers are going to help me locate the three cards. So all we do is put them on, give them a shake. And you can see now the jokers find three cards. That's one. That's two. That's three. And that should be the eight of diamonds, the nine of hearts, and the jack of clubs. And that is Snare. Okay, so that wraps this video up this week. Uh, you've seen what I carry every single day. You saw a little performance of Snare. I hope it was okay. I did perform it really quickly. And that's it. So it's not a review. Well, it was a review, but it wasn't a review. It was just what I carry every single day on me. Uh, if you guys will tell me what you carry on in the comments down below, I much appreciate it because I do like to know what other people uh, do carry so yeah like i can't say if it's magic or tragic because it's my own uh, you can actually comment if you think it's magic or tragic leave it down below and i'll see you next week <laughs>